Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Denali and I'm a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. If you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up on your way out today. This is a series of videos where I sit in my car and possibly have a coffee today. I have a coffee, yum. So delicious, I got the venti iced brown sugar oatmeal blah 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 drink. So I'm very happy they've got that oat milk back in stock. This is no longer 2021 where there was a shortage. So in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys, or I don't know, informally talk to you guys about uh, my experience selling to famous or noteworthy people. Of course, all my customers are cool. Let's just get that out of the way. But obviously some have some interesting jobs and maybe you've had this experience as well. If you've been reselling long enough, you know, you'll see a name pop up that you're like, wait a minute, I think this is something. So let me know in the comments down below if you've had that instance and if you're willing to share your experience with the classroom. All right, so this past week, we had an order come in that I didn't fulfill, one of my employees fulfilled, and then they later came up to me the next day. They were actually concerned that it might be a problem because we sent it to, I'll go ahead and say the company, I'm not gonna say the person's name who ordered it. Uh, you can do your own Googling on that front, but we sold to the company Brooks Brothers. And so my employee thought, you know, when they saw the <laughs> that the order was going to Brooks Brothers, and we sold a Brooks Brothers item that there was going to be maybe some sort of issue like a copyright issue or whatever the case is. Totally valid concern, but I realized pretty quickly, no, I, this is kind of an exciting sale. Like they're buying back an item of theirs and it was a vintage item and I'll go ahead and put it on the screen here so you can see what the item was. It was actually this really cool wrap skirt it had, I believe, sailboats on it, and it was vintage. It was in pretty good condition. There was a couple of flaws on it. I think there was like a couple of rust spots on there that I tried to remove, but I didn't want to mess with the garment too much because I thought whoever buys this next, they will do right by it. And so anyways, irony is that that right person was Brooks Brothers. So when my employee brought me the information. Of course, I looked up the sale. I looked up who it was and it is a noteworthy individual on Google and it is somebody very high up in making creative decisions. We'll go ahead and say that at Brooks Brothers. So I think what they're doing, which is not necessarily uncommon for brands at all, is they're perhaps sourcing some of their older pieces for design inspiration for new collections. I would love to think that this beautiful skirt that I sent will be used for that. And actually the fun part is, is that when I posted it on my Instagram, I just posted that I sold something back to Brooks Brothers. Someone who follows me, a friend, messaged me and said that Brooks Brothers had actually purchased something from them recently as well, which is really cool. So uh, to said friend who I think watches my YouTube channel as well, they we shared who the person was because I was like, well, who did you send it to? I sent it to this person. It was the same person. So this same person is out there on the internet <laughs> sourcing Brooks Brothers pieces. So if you have any, you know, maybe share them or whatever the case is. I think the other person sold theirs on Poshmark, but I'm not sure. I sold mine on Etsy and actually Etsy seems to be where I sell more of the noteworthy garments. I guess we'll say that. <laughs> So anyways, that was a fun sale and it's always a fun sale too because on Etsy, they're gonna be full price sales. I suppose somebody could send you an offer and you could adjust the price, but these people generally have larger budgets of money to be spending, so they're not gonna really question it. And my 60 or $70 skirt was probably nothing to them. So maybe I should have charged more, but oh well. The next one that I had actually, so this came a few days later, I believe, and it was also an Etsy sale. It was a pair of Levi's silver tab jeans and they were dead stock. So I remember silver tab jeans because I grew up in the nineties and I probably owned a pair if I'm remembering correctly, but the marketing campaign for them was really cool, really edgy. And if you didn't own a pair, you probably wanted to own a pair. So anyways, I found these at the bins and again, I'm not going to say the person's name. However, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what rang a bell for me, like why I Googled it because I don't think the address gave anything off, but I think honestly it was just like, oh, well, this is just another Etsy sale in the same week. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to Google this. 
<laughs> Maybe the name sounded familiar. That's probably why I did it. But anyways, I see that the person is a podcaster and also a writer and probably a lot of other things. I think a, just a commentator in general. Uh, however, the podcast name that popped up was a podcast or is a podcast that my husband listens to, or I thought he had said. So I said, hey, do you listen to blah, blah, blah podcast? And he's like, yeah. And I said, do you know who blah, blah, blah is? <laughs> and he said, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, then yeah, then we figured out, oh, okay. I did sell this to that person and that person received their order and left me great feedback. So that was really nice to see as well. Like, okay, it got to them and I wanted to like write a note, like my husband loves your podcast, but he was like, do not do that. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't send fan mail inside of their order. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, just kind of a cool experience. And once again, another full price sale. So I guess you kind of never know who you're selling to. And I suppose the only way you could is if you Google it. And to be honest, I never Google my customers. The Brooks Brothers one just kind of triggered me to kind of do the next one. And I think that's because something sounded familiar on there already. But do you ever Google your customers? I don't know. Some people are probably gonna be like, that's an invasion of privacy. But I, I mean, not really. It's not like you're posting their addresses or doing anything, but you know, everybody has their opinion about everything. And then the last one that I had actually last year that was kind of fun and interesting was again on Etsy. And it was a sale that went to a movie studio. I can't remember what movie studio it is, though it wouldn't be very difficult because I could look up the order or I could just Google the movie that it was being purchased for. I can't remember what the garment was. It was something unique. If I find it, I'll post it here on the screen so that later we can look back and say, hey, was did this appear in it? It did say, ironically on the package, it said what the project was gonna, or what the item was gonna be used for. So it said this the person's name who it was going to, I think, and then it said the studio name, and then it said the project it was going to be a part of. And so of course I Googled this, and this was last year. It had been released at that time that the movie, or it's a show, it's a movie, I don't know what it is, is gonna be starring The Weeknd, the musician, and Johnny Depp's daughter, Lily Rose Depp. That's kind of fun. The garment was, I think it was a women's top, if I'm remembering correctly. And I think it was like a size six or something. And Lily Rose Depp definitely looks smaller than a six. So unless they were planning to alter the garment in some way, which they definitely could because it was, you know, the clothing costumes department that was purchasing it. I'm not sure if she'll wear it or if somebody else will be wearing it or if nobody will be wearing it because I'm sure they source, excuse me, lots of different items to be used in the movie and they probably do lots of fittings and try-ons and all that stuff. So if it does show up, I'm going to be super excited because that was also a really fun sale. Uh, I was talking to my friend, Liz, who does my repairs here in house. Hi, Liz, if you're watching. And she was actually sharing something cool with me that there's a selling platform called Thrilling, like T H R I L L I N G. Let me know if you've heard of it. And she said that they actually send out emails to their sellers and they will let them know what movie studios or whatever are looking for clothing and they'll give you like an aesthetic board like you know of pictures like the movie is gonna be a whatever 1920s theme and we're looking for men's items and then it'll include pictures that they've just probably found somewhere on the internet and this is kind of the style that we're looking for so if you have pieces please submit them to us how cool and fun is that? Thank you, Liz, for such a great tip. If you've ever done that, let me know how the experience goes. Do you hear back about it if you submit a piece? Like, do they say like your piece wasn't chosen or are you just kind of like left hanging like, okay, well, they didn't want my stuff. Or have they taken one of your pieces? Cause that's kind of cool as well. I don't know, just to think that we're sourcing stuff to then be used in film and television, which is, yeah. Kind of exciting. So anyways, uh, you know, this job, <laughs> this job is fun and unique for us. And then it's kind of the icing on the cake when we get these opportunities to, uh, you know, be a part of something special, I guess you could say. So that was me getting to be a part of something special this past week with my two fun sales. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in and say hi to you guys and hope y'all are doing well. Um, I've got to go in there and ship now. So I will talk to you later. Bye.